What is going on, nerds and nerdettes? It's your boy, Stevie B and Ryan Boone. What's up, guys? We just got done doing a live stream. We just got done opening our Christmas gifts to each other. If you haven't seen that, go back and check it out. Holy crap. He, he hooked a brother up. That's all I can say. It was awesome. Some two monster key books. So if you missed that, go check it out. But as I mentioned in the live stream, um, got a mystery box to bust open. Mike Lackery, volume nine. Hell, I don't know. <laughs> he does one every week, it seems like. So it's, uh, it's hard to tell. But they're always good. They're always good. Um, so I'm excited to bust this open. There's a grand prize box that valued over $300. Was valued at over three hundred dollars, <laughs> and so I'm hoping his boy Jake hooked the brother up and picked me a winner. Only had two to choose from. Hopefully, he gave all the crappy ones to everybody else <laughs> and saved that monster win for me. But I got my boy Ryan here who just shits four leaf clovers. <laughs> he wins hey, everything. Hey. Wins everything, man. It's not my fault. I just got good blood. So, I thought maybe he fees here when I opened it. Maybe. I don't know. That's pretty thick, man. You feel that? It's, it's, it's kind of bulging out here. Like it, like it's packed wow. full. And But these were, they're sold out, so I guess it doesn't matter how much they were. But they were $65 shipped. And start here. All right, we got some pull tabs. Uh, oop, dang it. There we go. So, he's got some instructions. The pull tabs are great, but you still got to lift the... There we go. All right. All right, let's see what we got. Oh. Uh-oh. Um... Ryan's going to be trying to talk me out of that one. As soon as we log off, he's going to go, so how much you want for that? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Wonder Woman, which number is that? 760. 760. That is pretty sick. Oh, yeah. That, it's a Josh Middleton cover. Is it? Yep. Yeah. You want to know how I know it? I have that book. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I get to keep this one. I get to keep this one. But yeah. I, that that's a gorgeous book. Nice. Oh, or, oh, nice. I like this. This will go into the PC. Kitty Pride and Wolverine, number one. That'll go into the PC for sure. And they're, they're all in great condition. He doesn't really send too much junk, so I don't ever worry about Acri too much. But, um, Weird War Tales, number 41. Ah, not much of a war war comic collector but doesn't make it a bad comic just just not my not my thing but still it's kind of cool though a cannonball going right through the the dead dude i don't know pretty cool uh fantastic four number 260 not too bad Looks like Death of Doom or something. <laughs> you know, because you, know, you kind of kill off a character at least two or three times a year in their books. But, um, all right, ASM 155. This is an older ASM. Some of that 25 cent goodness. This thing's immaculate, too. Huh. He didn't have any crib notes on here, so now I'm going to have to run him through the eBay grinder just to see if I missed anything. Or maybe there's no key elements to these. They're just gold books. And that's why we may get across them. All right. First issue, introducing Atlas. Number one. Okay, I'm not familiar with Atlas. I ain't going to lie. DC book, but we'll give it a shot. We'll take a look at it. I'm shocked at the condition these things are in for the that's for as a, old as they are. That's a 25 center. Yeah. I mean, oh, Uncanny X Men 317. This is the first appearance of Skin 
and something else but but I have the one I have has foil down the side of it this one doesn't first appearance of blink my bad blink and skin I'm pretty sure but mine's foil down the side so I don't know if this is a later printing or or what but huh interesting but he does have four dollar value Adventure Comics, 12 Center. Dang. The Tornado Twins. Oh, this is a first appearance. It's DC. Yes, first appearance of Tornado Twins. That'll go into the PC. It's only a $5 book, but still love them old cover. Starting to get in, get into a lot more old stuff, if you notice, in my collecting habits. <clears throat> Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was yeah, gonna flip it over and go. No, we were just. No, but anyway, we we'll, we'll get to it. <laughs> <laughs> Iron Man, Vince Iron Man, one twenty-five. First cover appearance of James Rhodes, Rhodey. Okay, kind of cool. Hold on to that. Now this one, we're laughing because. I was just talking about, we were just talking about this cover and how iconic it is. And it's right there. And I told him I got multiple copies of it because it's an iconic cover. And what do you know? Daredevil number 196, first meeting of Wolverine and Daredevil. First appearance of Lord Darkwind. $10, I think you're selling it a little short there. $10 value. Um, maybe it's a condition thing because there looks like there's a little black, black rub on it. Maybe that's why he's giving it only a $10 value, but I think it's worth a little bit more. Um, I know cause I bought a shit ton of them, <laughs> but this is cool. Spider girl number 77, a little blacked out. That's pretty cool. Negative space cover worth thirty bucks. Shoot, man, that's pretty cool. I kind of dig that. All right, well, dude, um, I don't know what you think for sixty five dollars. I did another one. I thought that was really good. Yeah. He well, he don't have any more. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> so, um, far I mean, at a glance, some cool books for sure. Um, let's see how many of them are going to go into my PC. Spider Girl. It's a cool cover. I might hold on to it, but it may end up, it may end up sold at some point. Who knows? I've got, this will make, I think, the third or fourth one of these that I have. One of them might end up in a mystery box of my own. But for right now, I'm holding on to them because I love them. This one is going to go into the PC for sure. Uh, this one's going to go into the PC for sure. This one I'm going to hold on to because, like I said, mine has a foil. I don't. I, I don't know why the this one doesn't have the foil on it. I don't. Like I said, I don't know if it's a second printing or or if the foil one was just a, a variant. Or something, but I'm pretty sure that this I'm at. Well, when we go to the eBay grinder, I'll pull my copy out and we'll compare them when we come back from the eBay grinder. Yes, Michael, I'm gonna run you through the eBay grinder. You knew I would, but anyway, it'll probably go on the PC just because it's different from the one I got. This for this Atlas number one, I'll probably hold on to that one too. ASM, this early ASM stuff, I'm always gonna hold on to them. Fantastic Four, I don't know, probably, probably going, probably in a giveaway or something. Weird War, I'm not into war comics that much, so I'll probably give it away. This one's going to the PC. Since Ryan doesn't want this one, <laughs> he's got one already, I'll probably hold on to it and put it in the PC. So, yeah, I mean, all together, I mean, really, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, 
at least eight books out of there going in the PC for sure. So for me, it's a win. Anytime I can put anything in my PC, it's always a win. But you know how we do. Let's run them through the eBay grinder and see what it spits out. Back in a flash. All right, we are back, and we ran Michael Acri through the eBay grinder. Why? Because I love running Acri through the grinder. It's just, I like to keep him on his toes, man, because, you know, he likes to keep me on mine, that's for sure. But anyway, are you ready, Acri? Ready, Jake? Jake, you didn't, Jake, you didn't pull me the grant, the GP box, man. Um, you and me. We don't have talk about that. We, we need to get you trained, buddy. He, GP boxes come to Stevie B, all right? But anyway, let's go through here and, and see what, what we got. All right. First up, Wonder Woman number 760. Uh, last sold on this was about $5. But PC book. Um, Kitty Pride and Wolverine number one surprised me, but it's a part one of six. Um, you can buy the whole six pack for five bucks, but um, this is just a dollar bin book, but it's still going in my PC because I like it, so I'm not too mad about it. This one in this condition, like I said, the condition on these are really good, but in this condition, last sold about eight bucks. trying to remember what the total was because I forgot to write it down. All right. Uh, Fantastic Four, number 260. Um, you can buy it now for a dollar and 99 cents. It's, it's just dollar bin book, but I'm going to hold off on that one. That was that was the big hitter. Well, anyway. Uh, my Daredevil, I was wrong. I thought these were higher. I thought I paid more for these. Um, he had 10 bucks on it. Uh, Last sold on these are about seven bucks, but they they kind of range from seven to ten, so they kind of go up and down. This one with the little with the little mark on it um, there, probably closer to seven than ten, but still still a cool book, iconic cover. Iron Man number one twenty five, first cover appearance of James Rhodes. He had ten bucks on it, about right. Right on the money. That'll go in the that'll go in the PC. I'll hold on to that one too. Adventure Comics number three seventy three. He had five bucks on it. First appearance of Tornado Twins. This will definitely also also go into the PC. I like them first appearances. Uh, but he had five bucks on it, and that's about right on the money. Um, Atlas number one. Shut up. Dog's barking. Um, last sold on, he didn't have a price on it. Last sold on this was about four bucks. But Atlas number one, um, I'm thinking I'm going to hold on to this one. Something, something, my spidey sense is tingling, telling me to hold on to this one for a while. So I'll hold on to it for four bucks. And uh, ASM 155. He didn't have a price on it at all. But this one was kind of weird because... Last sold on it was about seven bucks, but one sold that same day for twenty three bucks, and it's all over the map anyway. But I gave it a ten dollar value. Um, could be, it could be more, could be less, and this is based on kind of like a listed prices too compared to last solds. Um, but ten bucks I think was was more than fair in this condition. It's immaculate. It's in great condition. Definitely a VF plus, near mint minus condition. I give it a ten, ten dollars. <clears throat> then let's we'll talk about the. Now this one here, I knew it wasn't a very expensive book because, like I said, I have one. <laughs> but um, this is the newsstand copy, and what I have is the is a variant. It's a foil wraparound variant cover of the same book. That's what was confusing me. Um, so it's still a first printing. It's just, mine's just the foil variant. 
and and his is just a plain old boring newsstand copy. So four bucks is what last sold on this was. I don't know if any one which if any of these is if one is rarer than the other. I don't really judging by the price, sold prices. I, I'm I'm gonna guess not. So and then the one he was given the big hitter. Um, the negative space cover for Spider Girl, seventy-seven. He had thirty bucks on it. Now, Acri last sold on this was nine dollars. Um, the one before it was thirteen dollars. One before that was about thirty-one dollars. Now, listed, you can't find it cheaper than thirty dollars listed. But as far as last solds go, probably auction snipes. Um, they were, like I said, about $9. So I have a hard time giving this a value, an accurate value. Because, like I said, there's none listed for under $30. So you can't go buy it now for under 30 bucks. But there were some more best offers. And that could be the case on some of them. So... We'll call it ten bucks. We'll call it ten bucks, and I, that's what I called it. Cause, and it could be more. It could be less, a little less, or I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. I don't think it's any less, but it could be a little more than that. But <clears throat> anyway, the grand total came to sixty-seven dollars. I paid sixty-five, so it hit value, but. What I judge a, a good mystery box on isn't necessarily um, how much profit I make off of it or how, you know, how much more I get in value. It's what I'm going to keep out of it. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, at least eight books out of the... 11 books that I got at least 11 eight of them were going into my PC so for me that's a win all day long anytime I can put books into my PC I call it a win for sure what'd you think I thought it was a pretty good box um I really liked how he started off with the Wonder Woman 760 yeah I thought that was really cool yeah <clears throat> and again you can't you can't build a box for taste just because you know um this book is way more appealing to him than it is to me. It's still a cool book. I still hold on to it, but you know what I mean? So you, you you can never build a mystery box to someone's taste. Taste is subjective. So, you know, not everything's going to hit hit right in your well house, but still eight of these did. So I can't complain. Great books. I'm happy about it. Um, Again, follow Michael Ackery. I'll put his YouTube channel, link to his YouTube in the description, along with his link to his Instagram. Keep following him. He puts out nice mystery boxes, great mystery boxes. And uh, keep an eye, follow out for him, and wait for him to drop another one. Highly suggested. And for the same price as that Michael Ackery mystery box, you can get a Stevie B mystery box. And then you can compare the two. I ain't saying, I'm just saying, that's all I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, but mine's $65 shipped, <clears throat> hit me up on Instagram, Stevie B Comics if you want one, but that's going to do it, before you go, do all those YouTube things that we love for you to do, like, subscribe, comment, share, do the hokey pokey, all that other bullshit, but that's going to do it for this one, we'll see you guys in the next one, peace.